Today, I'm actually going to be giving you a therapy update right after this. guys, my name is Shayla and I'm the creator of Junk Drawer Mom. I believe that hiding is overrated, so on this channel we talk about everything motherhood from practical to personal. So if you're new here, consider subscribing before you go. So on my last series on mental and emotional health, I actually talked about how I was getting ready to start therapy. So that was back in December, um, or actually it might have even been November. Um, but I started. I started at the beginning of January and it has been... I want to tell you it has been probably the best decision that I've made like ever and I truly 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 mean that. I will start by saying I found my therapist on Psychology Today so if you go onto their website you can actually do a search for therapists in your area and you can uh, filter them based on what your needs or desires are. Um, and so I did a few consultations uh, with some that I thought would uh, work best with me and I just picked one and I think the hardest thing is like actually starting um, but it's so refreshing to be able to talk to somebody who is unbiased who doesn't know you who doesn't have any preconceived ideas or anything like that so what happens is you go in unless well I did a free consultation over the phone first so they ask you a couple questions why do you want to come and see them etc etc um, some therapists I know will do an intake before you come in for your first appointment. The therapist that I decided to go with, uh, she does intake on the very first appointment. So she gave me this form to fill out ahead of time. Um, I emailed it to her and then on our very first appointment, we went through those questions. So there were things like questions about your childhood and are you married? Are you have any children? How old are they? Um, have you experienced any type of trauma? um any mental health they ask you about your eating habits they ask you about um your emotional states what you do for a living like just a very comprehensive like 12 13 page uh questionnaire um and so we went through that in our first appointment and then uh, after that we started getting into kind of some of the nitty-gritty things uh, so one of the first things that i did was actually take a personality test and the personality test, it's a, I don't know if any of you guys have heard of the Enneagram. They're pretty popular now, but I took an Enneagram test. Um, and so we just went through, or well, we're in the process now of going through um, and really breaking down my personality type. And I believe that that has really helped me to see um, like who I am as a person and kind of as a whole in realizing like how different I am but not just how different I am like knowing that there are people out there that are like me um, has been really cool to see I think um, and I'll put a link in the description for the book that she had me order but it's a faith-based book um, and it goes through the Enneagram um, and your personality type based on who you are in Christ and so I found that to be really interesting. It goes through like your core fear and your longings and your motivations as a person. And one of the things that I've learned is that your personality never changes, but your behaviors do change. And so now I'm figuring out how to navigate uh, myself, na navigate my inner thoughts and how I perceive things to be. Um, based on what I'm experiencing so knowing okay this is how I react or how I tend to react uh, when I'm stressed or if I'm angry or if I'm happy um, and so even in the last two months I'm just not what's the right word I'm not as anxious I think um, or worried like I'm very comfortable um, I'm more secure in who I am as a person and like realizing there's nothing wrong with me you know like the way that God has made me to be is fine and I kind of like are always knew that like you learn that like you know be the best you you can be and like all that stuff you guys know but um there's a difference I think when it becomes 
like more of a reality especially for somebody who has i think um dealt with identity issues or feeling like they are alone and um that's kind of what you know this channel is all about like hiding is overrated i don't want people to feel like they're alone um or that they're going through motherhood by themselves and yes we all have different personality types um but there are things that we all go through it's just that we react to them differently and so i'm just learning now how i'm reacting how that's perceived in my family and even um like exploring what my kids personalities are and what my husband's personality is and just like there's a whole new world uh, that's all i'm trying to say it's a whole new world um of being exposed to uh like my innermost thoughts the biggest thing is being able to actually articulate what i'm thinking and how i'm feeling um because i'm a little bit more reserved and quiet it's sometimes difficult for me to like formulate my thoughts and so going to therapy has actually i'll say like expanded my vocabulary and allowed me to like analyze and process and then articulate how it is that i'm feeling so if you are thinking about doing therapy um if you were going to therapy and stopped if you don't want to do therapy I, listen all of us should be in therapy whether we think we had a good life or not you should be in therapy um like therapy is not just for people that are going through things i think it's extremely healthy to take care of yourself take care of your emotional state take care of your physical body take care of your mental health um so i like i said i've only been going for two months but i feel like a totally new person i will definitely continue to go i don't know you know how long this season will last but i will definitely like keep you guys updated and i'm actually even thinking about uh, this might be a little bit premature but mark my words i'm just gonna say it out loud because i feel like i should do it i'm thinking about starting a podcast to kind of dive into these things um a little bit deeper um so yeah this video is really casual i just like i just want to let you guys know um what's been going on because i did say that i was going to update you guys on how therapy was going um, so anyway, let me know in the comment section if you've tried therapy, um, if you haven't and you want to, all that good stuff. You all know I always love hearing from you guys. And last but not least, don't forget hiding is overrated and I'll see you next time.